Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Bobby at Bloomin' Hearts. I wanted to share with you this really pretty card. This is from the new uh, stamp set called Swirly Bird. I just love the way it makes the flowers. And then I stamped an envelope to go along with it. I just used the splatter that came in the stamp set. Um, this comes in the stamp set as well as the thinlets. This is the stamp set here. And here are the thinlets. It's a really, really neat set. I really had a good time making this. Um, and then the cinnamon I used, thanks so much, came from another thank you, which is retiring. I hate to see this one go because I use it all the time. So I'm going to lay this one aside. I just put the sequins on it and I want to give them a chance to dry. Oh, I was going to show you the, well, I think I've already got the, the inside done on this one. It's okay, my sequins didn't fall off, thank goodness. I didn't think they were dry, I guess they are. Uh, the inside I just stamped with two of the little uh, flowers that was in the set and I put thanks across the center and I like to put a little heart on all of my cards. So I've got everything cut out just to save time for the video but it is so easy to put these cards together and they're so pretty. So this uh, comes in the set in one of the dies and it's just these squiggly lines but they're so pretty and I'm just going to put it up alongside of the card and then build my flowers. So I'm going to use the two-way glue pin for that. And I'm just going to run some glue along it, along the back side. And then what hangs off the bottom I can just trim off with my scissors. I love the two-way glue pin. I use it a lot. So I'm just going to line this up at the top. And press it down and then cut it off from the back side. Okay. And then the large flowers, I just, um, I cut these. Uh, the first one I did was, um, let me see, it was Daffodil Delight, Tempting Turquoise, and Tangerine Tango, I think. This one is uh, Marina Mist, Melon Mambo, and I cut a little piece of pool party to go behind these because I'm going to overlap these two swirls on this one and put the blue behind it so that it kind of blocks out the, the, uh, the greenery in the back. So I need uh, the Tombow for this. I just laid this um, the die down on a scrap of pool party and traced around the die and cut it for the the back piece. And then I'll put some two-way glue on these as well. And I'll just kind of overlap them. Uh, there's a piece I forgot to punch out. You know, I didn't order the um, the brush to remove your little pieces from your dies when it first came out. I think I missed the boat on that one. Next time I order, I'm going to get that brush because these uh, squiggles, these swirlies, they really have a lot of little pieces in them. And I wished when I was doing this a while ago that I, I had that brush. <laughs> so, but... I can always get it next order. So I'm just going to overlap these so both colors show. Oops, I got it upside down. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do it like this so both colors show through. And then this little piece is a pop out of the center of this flower and it'll fit right behind this one. And this is another one of the dies. So I'm going to put that on some dimensionals. And this one, I put all the pink pieces back inside the blue one. Just layered them in there. 
and I'm just going to glue it down as one solid piece. Actually, I meant to put dimensionals on that, and I didn't do it. Let me get a dimensional. I want to have dimensionals on these little ones so, so I can get my leaves behind them. And I use the, uh, there's a real delicate fern type leaf on the, uh, I think it's called botanicals, what is it called? Botanical builder framelits. This one here, I use the little fern out of that set. And I'm going to layer this one down here. And then put two on this. It isn't going to hurt that I already had the two-way glue on it. I wasn't thinking about my leaves. Okay. And let's... Where do we want this? I think maybe I don't want it to cover so much. I'll put it right there. Then I've got room for my ferns. And I can use the two-way glue pen because they're so fine. I'm just going to dab a little on them and stick them back up under there. They're so pretty. It goes together really, really quick. I just wanted to get things cut out before the video because that's where all your time is, is in the cutting. Okay, I'm going to put this one this away. And then we've got one more. Oops. And I'm going to put this one right here so it overlaps that one. Okay, I've got two little leaves here, but I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to use those this time. I don't think I really need them. So see how quickly that goes together? And on the first one I put um, some of the... Um, where is it? This one the crystal effects on it just for some added sparkle and I like to add sequins when I can to my cards they just especially the floral cards they give a lot of extra sparkle and shine and dimension to them and I've got quite an assortment of sequins so I might as well use them right so just going to put a little bit of crystal effects on here. I keep wanting to call it special effects. I watch my, listen to my grandsons talk about their special effects in their videos. And I keep wanting to call this special effects. And put a little bit over here. Just adds a little sparkle. See how quickly that makes up and it's so pretty. And then I'll, as soon as the crystal effects dries, then I'll add uh, three sequins. I like to do them in a triangle, so I'll put one maybe here and here and down here. So that is that card. And then I stamped an envelope to match. I just used a little tiny flower that's in the set and just had it overlap a little bit. So it'll make a real pretty set for somebody. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Try this stamp set. It is so pretty. You're absolutely going to love it. You can't go wrong with it. And it comes in a bundle, so if you buy the uh, the set of the stamps and the thinlets at the same time, you save an extra 10%. Okay, thanks for joining me. Have a good day. Bye, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.